So this is the second coat of the Solar Res. I can't believe it's not lacquer UV cured uh, covering. Uh, the piece of wood is uh, just a piece of walnut. I sanded it down to 400 grit just to make sure that the wood was nice and smooth for the application. Sanded the first coat. It was quite easy to sand. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. And I'm uh, gonna go sand the second coat down and see if I can get it to take a polish. Okay, uh, here we are on the workbench. I've got um, the second coat of the Solar Res. I can't believe it's not lacquer resin. It's cured, uh, both with the UV flashlight and about 20 minutes in the sun. It doesn't need that much time, but I happened to go walk the dog, so that's how much time it got. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some 400 grit now. You'll see how easy it is to sand this product, unlike a lot of uh, resins. So it's gonna get noisy, hang on. All right, so I'm gonna um, just hit this quickly with uh, a little bit of uh, 400, 1500, and 2000 grit papers. Uh, I'll pause the video again, grab some of the sanding pads I have that are a little bit higher at 3000 and 5000, and then I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of, um, uh, a little bit of uh, ultra finish polish on the drill and foam applicator and see what kind of gloss we can get up on this product. Uh, that's about it, back in a minute. So here's what it looks like as I wipe it down, just with some plain water to get, just get the sanding dust off from the, uh, from the random orbital there. You can see it's actually pretty good. Um, what you can't see is that it is a super smooth finish and uh, it's actually a little bit warm to the touch right now because I think it's still undergoing a little bit of its process. So there we go. Um, now we're going to go ahead and hit this with, uh, just a wee bit of the 400, which it already has, but let's go ahead and do it anyhow. Then we'll get us started. Nice uniform grit. Good news is there isn't a whole lot here to polish up, so that's kind of cool. Another shot. Hit it with the 1500. Honestly, don't know about wet sanding with this stuff. It's a total experiment, but I figured I'd give it a try since this is a test and I want to know what it's going to be like to work on on a guitar body. So far, it's feeling pretty good. And uh, hit uh, a little bit of the 2000 here. So this should really be cutting in there and making this thing polish up a bit. So in a moment, I'll pause the video and then I will uh, clean all of this off basically and see what kind of gloss we're looking at right now. And then we'll just keep going the process on the other side with finer grits and then some compound. So this is gonna be tough to see, but we're up to about a 2000 grit here. And if you want a like kind of a matte finish or a satin finish, this is actually pretty good. You can see where the gloss remains around the very edge of the um, uh, of the actual resin itself here, and that's like a non-polished part of the resin, and that gives you an idea of how thick I actually put it on. This is two coats. Um, I went pretty liberal with it, and uh, and it gives you just an idea. You can see a couple of inclusions right there in the center. That little whitish dot is an inclusion that I haven't fully sanded away yet. And I'm not going to worry about it because this is a test piece. When I actually do a guitar body, I'll probably put three or four coats of this on to give me lots of opportunity to sand back to a completely clear surface. So next up, uh, progressively finer grits, and um, yeah, see if we can get a polish on this puppy. So this is a uh, 3000 grit uh, polishing pad, um, obviously made for uh, automotive use, but uh, it doesn't know this isn't a car fender, so we will go ahead and use it liberally here and see what kind of kind of smoothness we can develop here so i'm not really expecting this to add any shine i'm uh, i'm just 
using this to kind of get rid of all of those minute surface imperfections and, uh, and really get in there and kind of buff that surface. And then we'll hit it with a 5,000 grit, and after that we can hit it with some polishing compound and see what we have. So, all kinds of fun on a Sunday, Sunday morning in Southern California, experimenting with the solar res. I can't believe it's not resin. Or, I'm sorry, I can't believe it's not lacquer. All right, that's 3,000, as you can see. That's a 5,000, so pretty soon I'm just going to grab a piece of paper and see what we can come up with here. Making it just a little bit milky here, but that's I've seen that happen before. I'm not really worried about it. I will say this: the resin really makes this walnut pop when you, when you first put it on there. Uh, it does occur to me that as we do this, if we're going to actually use this as a coating on guitars, that you're probably going to do a multi-stage finish. Do the face, cure it, do the back, cure it, do the sides, cure them, then come back, do a sanding, that kind of idea. It's a little bit different process in that you can't just, unlike true oil, you can't just probably do it all in one shot. I mean, you could if you went thin enough, I guess. All right, I'm going to give this a quick wipe to get the sanding dust off of it. Don't let that gloss fool you, that's just the water. That's all that is. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm from polishing. That's for show. Sure. All right, now we'll get the drill ready, be back in a moment. So this is it, this is as far as we're gonna take it right now. Um, I do like that it's uh, it's taking a polish. Uh, that's, uh, that's really nice. It is uh, obviously super smooth. It's very glass-like, uh, although I can feel some unevenness in it from uh, sanding marks and, and whatnot. So you definitely, if you can on flat surfaces, want to hit this with like a block sander or something like that. Um, as we come down here, you'll see that it's uh, a little bit, uh, it's not quite as smooth and glass-like as I want. I think I can bring up a bit more of that with um, a finer polishing compound. But, you know, it does a, a pretty credible job so far. Obviously, it makes the walnut look fantastic. So, there we go. Solar res, I can't believe it's not lacquer. So far, I'm impressed. Well, I'm back, and I actually ran out, grabbed some uh, plastic polish for headlight covers, and uh, we're going to give it a shot on this solar res resin, see if I can get a nice polish to come up with the included ball. So, apparently I need to put about a nickel size on there stuff is pretty liquid and then we will see see if this will buff up now well, let's see if we've got a any better of a shine coming up here and we do not Do not. I mean, it is glass smooth, but it is still a bit opaque. So that's a bit disappointing, um, but I'm going to keep working at it and see if I can figure out a process. All right, uh, so I hit this one more time with polishing compound on the ball on the drill. It actually um, is looking a little bit better now. I went a little bit slower and it seems to have come along. You can still see that it's a little bit opaque, uh, but when I'm looking at it in person, uh, yeah, you can see a little bit in the video here. There's actually some areas that are completely clear and there's areas like this that while smooth on the top, show what looks like oxidation underneath. And I think that might be because in between coats, I did not do a good job of level sanding and I only went to a 400. And so the net on that is that there's still scratches on that, that other layer, that first layer I put in there. Um, so I'm gonna try this again 
uh, without a video just to see how it works. I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I think this will, uh, this will work. Um, there's no question. I mean, others have used it before, so it's just a matter of figuring out what that technique looks a little bit like. But, uh, but overall, I'm, I'm really happy. And you want to talk about a glass smooth finish? This is smooth as glass. Absolutely picture perfect smooth on there now. So thumbs up for the Solar Res product.